Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, this is going to be the part tour of our UK based park. With dinosaurs I hardly use or flying reptiles. I was going to do a lagoon but there's just nowhere on this map, unless it's over here, to put a lagoon in on the other sections of the coast. So we are sticking with what we have so we have here the park entrance where you come from underneath the uh, this mountain range or just higher coastal area and we have the visitor center slash check-in section we also have a guard tower just keeping an eye on the people coming in and just keeping out a warning for weather. We have a, a circular path here with a fountain in the middle, uh, along with a rustic hotel, and some shelters, and a restroom, and our uh, hatchery, along with some amenities. We have the doll, hot chocolate, and books. And in the first enclosure, we have our Proceratosaurus, I believe these are. Yep. Right, I'm gonna turn that down to one speed. I was just letting it run a bit, but we don't need to anymore. And then in the enclosure around the top here, which probably would have been best suited for the Ankylosaurus, we have our Pachyrhinosaurus. They seem to be uh, spoilt for space around here. Do they? Uh, it's probably a little bit wider. And then you walk through the forest around here. And you have another shelter, another bathroom, and our gyrospear tour. So let's ride the gyrospear. We have some Aranosaurus. From where we are from the first entrance. Uh, I believe we also have the Stegosaurus in here. We also have Camarasaurus. And there might be a swing cows in here, I can't quite remember. Pachyus Ephesus, because of the gram leaf. So we have a lot of fibre and fruits on this side for the stegos and the oranosaurs. And as we go around the other side, we have a uh, tall and ground leaf for the Camarasaurus and the uh, Pachyus Ephesus. And there's the Pachycephalosaurus right there, and the Camarasaurus coming out through the trees saying hello. And the Aranosaurus crossing the path, hello. And the Pachycephalosaurus. This was originally going to be a part tour, um, like a normal like tour, vehicle tour, but the. Uh, Stegosaurus knocked them out straight away. We're being walked into. Can you turn, please, so we can get back on? Hello. A nice up close and personal view with the Camarasaurus. Once the tail goes past, we can carry on. Thank you. Come on, we can keep going. The pack of the saws don't eat this, so I don't know why they're running over here to eat for. Achieve the dominant status through intimidation alone. 
and there's some stegos by the river having a drink. And some more renosaurs. And more Camarasaurus just uh, crossing the river. And this is the tall leaf and ground leaf section. I figure the Kamara sources are going to need a lot of vegetation. and you say I just want to thank everybody for subscribing lately uh, we've we're really close to 400 actually yep probably after posting this we probably will be at 400 but thank you to everyone I appreciate you all for following me on this journey and everybody becoming the first 1,000 to the channel. Hopefully by the end of this year we can get another we can be up to a thousand. And we are coming to the end of the tour. And the Aranosaurs are coming to say goodbye as we move on. Then we jump on the monorail and we follow it over the cliff to the next section where we have the bento sushi, root beer, another uh, shelter, a large hotel, more of a standard hotel with a swimming pool on the roof or a heated swimming pool I guess Jay. Uh, some action figures and we have in here our Avery. With the um, not the Piscopor V, that give me a dinosaur Tropogathius. Tropogathius, I think that's how you say it. We have six in here in their forest uh, lakeside enclosure. We have a couple of rocks for them to sit on. And then over here we have our troodons, our venomous small reptile. Again, don't use the troodon that much. I don't know why. Seems fairly interesting. Seem to have the zoomies a bit. I wonder if they behave differently at night. 
and then we follow the monorail to the final section past this cliff to the last part I did not switch out the ankylosaurus for polycanthus um, they just have to deal with the blacker space um, I didn't realize they needed so much and unfortunately the alpha did not didn't get any traits so they're not humble or anything so that did not help with the uh, with moving everything in unless somebody takes over and then that might help so over here we have like an egg-shaped kind of um, pavilion with a fountain in the middle we have burgers and fries we have some super food juice and we also have t-shirts another large hotel a bowling alley and just this random path design uh, in the first enclosure we have the Mephiacanthosaurus there are five in here one two three one over there and the fifth one's going to be around there's two ponds in this enclosure and then over here we have our ankylosaurs which are only just happy and the um, Arctheophormiomimus uh, they're happy ish they probably need a bit more forest but if they go over there they would get that forest unfortunately they do require a lot I've only just managed to get the ground fruit up unfortunately if I take anything out of here uh, it will severely compromise it's a shame really that they don't offer you can get tall leaf and tall fruits but there's no ground leaf or fruit just a shame and then in this enclosure not the carnival feeder we have our three alberta sources our large tyrannosaur for the park and a goat so there are three in here he's sleeping he's gonna be on the trees and the third one is hiding There's another goat poking his head above there. So we've got like a beachy rocky enclosure with a bit of forest in the corner. Ah, coming out from the trees. I thought he was going to put his head on him. And that is the UK park tour. Uh, looks like we're going to have a bit of rain because we are in the UK and we should have rain. Uh, and yeah, that is the UK tour. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to 500 and beyond. And I'll see you all in the next park build, which I will have a think and um, and I'll, I'll announce it soon. Maybe a bigger map somewhere. And again, I'll use more dinosaurs I hardly ever use. I don't use a lot of hybrids because they just require so much space. And also, they just, I don't know, it just feels like cheating a bit. But anyway, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.